Hello guys, what's up? This is Matt with Comex Gaming and welcome to another source mode tutorial. I'm sorry for the background noise, it's just my other microphone broke, so I'm using another microphone that is kinda shitty, so uh, ignore the noise and I hope it's not as bad as it looks like because yeah, I've been trying to get a new, a new mic for about a week and I haven't found any good microphones, so whatever. I'm just gonna stick with this one. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I have not been posting videos again. I'm sorry for that, but let's move on to the tutorial. So today we're gonna learn how to pass a lot of data into the timer callback. Um, if you don't know what that is, then you should check my timers tutorial, which is tutorial number six, I believe. I don't know, I don't remember, but it's old. Um, anyway, I'm still gonna do it here, so yeah, if you're kind of into source mode and know the basics, you should be able to follow. But yeah, um, so the first thing we're gonna do actually is do a, a basic timer. We're not gonna do any special stuff, so create timer, blah blah blah, create timer, um, I don't know, two seconds maybe. And the callback is going to be hello callback and data. I'm not going to say anything yet, but we are in a second. So uh, I have not built the callback yet. I will in a second. But first of all, I want to make the structure of the data I want to send. Now you can send data in two ways. Well, the most convenient way, the most convenient ways at least are. Um, tries and um, key values. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use key values, I might do a tutorial on tries later, I don't know, but um, I find uh, key values very useful because you can set numbers, um, vectors, colors and whatnot, so yeah, they're the best to go with. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create the key values. So we're going to create a new handle. Um, key values equals create key values nothing new so far we have to put a name I'm going to call it data so I want to pass into this callback for the timer um, the team ID of the player so we're going to declare a new string which is going to be um, name the and I want to also send the string uh, the team ID and I want to send the client, but that's already defined up here, so we don't have to define it to send it. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is key v set num handle to the key values key v because we defined it like a line ago. Um, the key we want to set is going to be called client, and the value is going to be client. So you can call this whatever you want. Actually, it's just going to be the key to find the value inside the key values, which I'm, I'm going to do later when I get to the callback part, but for now, let's leave it that way. Key v set string, key value as well, the key and the value is going to be name. I forgot to get the name. And mm, finally, I'm going to copy that, um, steam id and steam id. I always type the same uh, the, the key, uh, the key name. I always type the same the same key name as the variable name because I don't know. I think it's more convenient to do so. But you can do whatever you want. Okay, client name, client name, thirty two. Yes, you should use size off, but I don't want to. Get client of string and client and stimuli. Uh, stimuli. 32. It's faster. Um, don't judge me, please. Thanks. <laughs> um, and now that we have all the data saved into the key values, what we want to do, I'm going to clear the code a bit so it's easier to read. Um, there we go. There we go. So, the next thing I want to do is remember how here we have um, the any data um, um, argument. 
Well, it says invalid handle. Now, what's great about this is that, as you can see here, we have a handle. So, handles have the default value of invalid handle if set. So, we can send a handle as data because it says any. Any is any data type, but strings sometimes don't work for some reason. Um, so, that's why you need to use handles. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is send the key values. And this might be, might look a bit tricky, but hold on, just hold on. And we're going to close the handle to prevent memory leak. And there we go. So let's go through this again. When the client connects and spawns, um, we're going to get their name and their Steam ID. And then we're going to create a key values uh, with the name of data, which is not important at all. And then we're going to set a number, which is going to be client, with the value of client, a string with the name of, of name, and with the value of name, which is the name of the client, and then a string with the name of Steam ID, and we're going to store the Steam ID of the client. And after that, we create a timer with a delay of, of two seconds, and we send the key values as that data. So then we close the handle to the key values to erase everything in the memory. So we don't have any stupid memory going around and um, taking place. So the next thing I want to do is create a callback to this um, timer. So I named it hello callback and handle whoa, handle timer any data and as you can see here we have the argument any data maybe you're wondering why can't I just send the client and get the steam ID and the name here well you can um, but technically this is just for learning purposes so I don't know what you're gonna be doing with this so I don't know this is the first thing I came up with so don't judge again <laughs> um, but yeah so what we want to do here to actually retrieve all the information we sent is the following. Um, for convenience, we're going to create a new handle. Oh, we're just going to be called um, key values, and that's going to equal handle data without the parentheses. So new handle key values equals handle data. Maybe wondering why did you add handle colon before data since data is already defined? Well data is um, a data type of any so handles are not compatible with any in a way um, but since we want to use key values key values only support handles that's, that's why we actually need to cast and what is casting maybe you're wondering casting is forcing a variable to be a different variable on the same structure like forcing a variable be a different variable type it's a different data type imagine we have I don't know um, an integer and we want to turn it into a string which is not good then you would do something like new derp equals uh, string um, derpo. Let's imagine derpo is another integer. This is the way you turn it into a string, but it's not right. You should never do this, this or that because it won't work. Probably I don't know. I haven't tried, but it works with handles and any. So yes, do it in this case. Kv get num. Oh, key values. Um, fine. And well, um, I'm gonna pause the video. All right, I'm back. So I just paused the video to, to code all that because it was a waste of time. But basically, what I've done, I changed this line because it was wrong. Since key get num returns the value of the key of the, the the number stored in this key, so minus one is gonna be the default value if this key does not exist. So client would equal minus one if this fails. 
um, but then I got the string, the name, um, with, with the default value of null, and same thing for the steam ID with the default value of null. So after we get all the data and we save it to our variables, what I did was print out your name um, is whatever your name is, your steam ID is whatever your steam ID is, and then in your state. So um, try this. So here we are, guys. And we are in, and let's wait a second. Okay, guys, we're in, and there we go. As you can see, we get the message um, your name reloaded, your CMID is Steam, blah 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 blah. blah. Enjoy your stay. So, um, I had to change something from the plugin. Um, you do not want to close the handle here. Because if you do close the handle before actually um, retrieving all the stuff here, then the key values will not exist because this callback gets executed one second after you call this. I mean, two seconds. Two seconds after you call this. So, two seconds after this, the, the, the key values will not exist if I close the handle. However, if I let, if I let the handle leave, live, on the, if I let the key values handle live, then I will be able to actually um, get all this stuff back. And since all the data gets destroyed when the timer ends, um, all the stuff in here is going to get destroyed as well. Um, the thing that won't get destroyed is the key values in here, unfortunately, um, but there is no way to close it after you, you go to this handle here. So it doesn't matter if it stays open. Um, the 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 one we send here is going to get destroyed, so don't worry about this, guys. The important thing is that we were able to send the data to the um, to the timer callback, and that is amazing. So thanks for watching. Again, sorry for the microphone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. Uh, if it did, don't forget to read the video up, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, well, don't forget to subscribe, please. See ya.